take advantage, don't leave my heart damaged to understand that things go a little bit better when you plan it. Oh, so won't you send me your location? Can you guess what we're doing today? Okay, YouTube. It's your girl, bro. Back at it again. We're going on a baby. So, I'm currently in my room. And I'm going to teach you how to ride a hoverboard. So, this is a two-wheeler. And it is the Hover One free Freestyle Freedom. And yeah. so what you do is pick it up. This is how you pick it up. It weighs like a good 26 pounds. And I'm going to show you the back of the hoverboard. So the back of the hoverboard has a charging port and the on and off button. So those are the two char the charging port and on and off switch. Here's the front, the hover one um, Freedom doesn't have lights in the front so they are blocked off. Yeah. Oh, mine's in black. So, yeah. This, these are the pressure, the pressure points on the hoverboard. Pressure paddle is this and this one. And this is the two things. This one, these they're, these are LED lights, and these will turn on in green on both sides, meaning that it's good. One red light and one green light is uh, going out of battery, and when it's just, it's like a green light and a red light, but the red light starts blinking, and it starts going beep, 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 beep. It does not mean it's going to blow up if you don't have one. That is UL certified, and this is. And you can find hoverboards at Walmart, um, online, and other stuff like that. So, yeah. So, now I'm going to show you how to get on it. And this, the minimum weight for this is 80, and the, like, limit weight, and it can't go over this, is 260. So just turn the charging, well, not the charging, the on and off button on, and step on one of the pressure points and the other one. So now you may like go like this or something, or you can just get over here, step backwards. Always step backwards, because if you step up forward, it'll hit you in the back of your leg, and it won't be good. So if you want to get on, like if you're too scared to like get on with your hands off of it, then you can hold on to something and step on. And it works on any type of floor, carpet, hardwood. I think hardwood is the best. So I'm going to show you the way how you can go front, back, um, spin, spin the other way, and like do other tricks like hitting the boats and like spinning with your leg up. Okay, so yeah, let's get to it. So I have moved my camera.
tennis position for my good cards. So right here, you see the wheel. Right here, see the wheel. So you see how my feet are balanced out. So just, I'm just gonna turn this way for the up part. So to go forward, you need a little bit of pressure forward. And if you wanna go backwards, you need a little bit of pressure backwards. And if you wanna spin, put pressure on one foot to go one way, and on another foot to go the other way. Sorry for the sound guys, my grandpa just came up here and turned the heater on, so yeah, now I'm going to show you a couple of tricks, I'm just going to put it back, hit my bed, so you can kind of see me, but the only important thing you see is that you hover forward. So one thing my sister likes to do a lot is hit the folks on here, I hit the folks isn't the best, so they'll not hit me in the comments. So yeah, so all you have to do is just watch my feet. You know, hit the boats. And you put a lots of pressure on this so you don't spin. You may go like this a little, but you won't like spin around. So you hit the boats. Sometimes it goes backwards, so don't just gonna hit the folks. And another thing that she likes to do is like, I don't know, like squat down and like spin. But I'm not going down that far because I'm not trying to do that. So I'm just gonna go, you know, like this. Fall down and spin. But she like just all the way down, it touches the wheels and just goes. That kind of it. So next is the ice skater, and she goes like this. And then it's how you spin on one foot, take it. And if you're a beginner, just go like this. Or you can just lean one foot and go like that. So yeah, the next one is the hop off. Just don't hop up flat because you're going to hurt yourself. So just go like this and hop off. And get back on. And another thing she likes to do is the hypnotizer. This is where you just spin, 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 spin. And go down, go down, go up, go down, go up, go down. Can't really see where you're going, but you just go like this. So, yeah. Wow. Now I'm going to show you guys how to charge and take care of your hoverboard. So first tip on how to take care of it is charge it every day and don't overcharge it because it will like overheat and stuff. But then you should always have a charger around you. You shouldn't take your charger anywhere, but you should have it like in your room or somewhere that's like in your house that you would put it and where you can like see it and would you get on it and the second tip is don't ever fall asleep like don't ever charge your hoverboard while you're asleep what i do is i like i do that sometimes because like i run it out like in during the day but if you don't run it out during the day, just don't put it in the charger and wait till morning time when everybody's out the house. If you don't have a UL certified one. So, like, if it does have chances of blowing up, you can be out of the house and everyone can be safe. So, yeah. Well, I'm going to show you guys how to put the charger and what the charger kind of looks like. So yeah.
Okay. Hey, Charger. So, I'm going to set the camera down. And I think you can really see it. So, I'm going to set it up on the glass. Hopefully, you guys can see it. <laughs> you stupid. So, so, just take it. Turn your hoverboard off. This is what the charger looks like. This is what the... Dang, why you gotta be so close, like. though? And then, if you're fine, you can twist it or something, and, like, push it in every time you do it. So you can find... Well, like, excuse hours. me, um, ma'am, we can can't, we can't see the board. Setup. So... My, it turns red if it needs charging, and it'll be green if it's already charged. And it says it on the back of the thing, too. Hope you guys have enjoyed subscribe. this subscribe video. Subscribe to my channel. And subscribe. Make subscribe. sure you comment you and give me some to, ideas oh, oh, for subscribe. my next video, subscribe. which will be tomorrow, because like I'm posting every too. day. And comment, yeah. And subscribe. like, like. Comment. Yeah. Oh, yeah, make sure to subscribe. subscribe. My subscribers subscribe. are popping up, and I'm like really thankful for that. Like, I have five subscribers, and like, I don't really care. I may sound like really dumb right now, but five subscribers is a success. And I started out from zero to two to five, so yeah. Well, I think that's a big accomplishment. Just keep up the good work, everyone. And make sure to like this video. And play it as many times as you want. Um, so, yeah. And go check out my last video. My last video after that. Um, I don't need to just watch all my videos. Because I don't have very many, very many. And make sure to go to my girl Lamaya's page. Um, so yeah, have a marvelous rest of your day.